What's up everybody, it's Max and Kim. Welcome back to another video. Today we are going to be telling you about the cost of travel in the Philippines. Um, this will be based on our travel through the Philippines uh, midway through 2019. And we're only getting around to filming this now with everything that's going on. So we hope you're all staying safe through this crazy season. So we were in the Philippines for just under a month. Um, and going through the costs of everything that we paid and the cost of traveling going through, you're going to want a wallet to keep all your money safe when you're traveling through the Philippines. That brings us to our next point. We are so excited to be partnering with Extra Wallets for this video. So they basically have developed these high-end trackable wallets which keep all your valuables safe. So we're super excited to partner with them for these ones. So I got the Parliament wallet which is amazing. So in the back of this wallet is where the tracker sits. So this one is connected to your phone via an app. So if you press this one it'll locate your phone through the app and it'll just make your phone ring and if you press the if, if you go through the app it'll make the tracker ring and you can locate it on gps as well which is really cool very handy if you're prone to misplacing or forgetting your wallet and phone it's also charged by solar so i think two or three hours in the sun and that'll charge it for th up to three months yeah so i got the parliament wallet it can hold up to about five six cards in there it's really easy to press really easy to press all the cards come out even if you shake it upside down it doesn't come out so they're really safe in there <laughs> and you've also got some room inside to hold some bills as well and i went for the secretary sleeve i like it really really simple it can just fit in anywhere and the tracker for this one goes right in the middle <laughs> they're all made from premium Italian leather so they're super soft and feel incredible. I've already been using these for a couple of months and they still look brand new. So we do actually have an affiliate link down below and we've got the discount code here for 15% off. So without any further ado we're going to jump straight into the costs for traveling the Philippines. For the purpose of this video we're going to do all the prices in Australian dollars because it's the easiest for us to convert and you can convert that into whatever currency you are using and we'll also put the equivalent of the Filipino peso in there as well. For the total traveling for 20 four days I think we spent just over two thousand five hundred and eleven um, Australian dollars and so that actually brings it down to a hundred and four Australian dollars per day which is actually amazing when there was two of us and we were traveling and we did a lot of activities and we did a lot of travel through the Philippines yeah so fifty two dollars a day per person so we've broken it up into the main categories that you would spend on when you were traveling accommodation food transport activities um, amenities. So the accommodation in the Philippines for our whole trip was $495. We initially thought that was quite a lot. But it actually worked out to be $20.60 per day which is actually yeah. pretty good. Um, the accommodation did range quite a bit starting from about $18 um, and we did get up to about $36. But the, the rooms were actually quite a bit nicer so a lot of them had air conditioned rooms. Um, there were only a few that we stayed in for $18 a night between us and that just was a fan room. It did vary a lot so I mean <laughs> for example we stayed in Port Barton and that one I think was only like 900 and something pesos a night for that uh, bamboo room which was amazing. Mm -hmm. Some accommodations came with transport as well so so one place that we stayed in in Bohol it came with its own bike that you could use for free and another important thing to note is I think most of the places that we stayed in if not all of them were private rooms with a private bathroom as well and yeah. a lot of those actually included breakfast as well so our transport over our trip was 553 for the whole trip which brings it down to $23 per day and um, the mm -hmm. transport throughout the Philippines does vary quite a bit between the different islands in Cebu when we were catching a bus from Cebu City all the way down to Barian that was only 170 pesos each which was super cheap that was a three hour bus ride three or four hour bus ride renting a scooter was pretty cheap as well I think that ranged from about 350 pesos a day to 500 pesos a day depending on where you were and how well you could barter for that one um, they do drive on the right hand side of the road which was a new thing for us transport was a little bit cheaper in the Cebu area instead of ever in Palawan because some of the vans like when we were going from Puerto what's Princesa. the yeah when we we're going from Puerto Princesa up to Port Baton that was like I think 500 pesos each and to go from Port Baton to El Nido that was another 600 pesos each for those van rides with mm. Palawan we I guess it was more touristy yeah, travel yeah but the Cebu was a big bus where Palawan was a minivan so. yeah even even the ferries in the Cebu and Visayas area were cheaper as well so I think the highest price we paid for a ferry was from 
um, the capital of the whole tag bill around all the way back to Cebu City and that was only around 750 pesos yeah. each whereas in Palawan when we went from uh, El Nido to Coron that ferry ride was about 1750 pesos each which is substantially more expensive but I think that's because it's a more touristy area and in Cebu as well you could use jeepneys getting a jeepney back to our Airbnb we got on but we don't know how you get off just so much fun um, and they're super cheap as a tourist you will get overcharged with them and even then it's gonna cost you about two dollars Australian if you're just traveling down the road for five minutes or so, you shouldn't be paying any more than 20 pesos for a jeepney, which is about 60 cents Australian. <laughs> we actually caught the overnight ferry, um, which goes from Caron back to Manila. So that was 4,700 for both of us. Um, more details on that is in our Caron video. This brings us into our next category, the food. Nom, nom, nom. Absolutely loved the food in the Philippines. The cost for the whole time that we were there is $455, and that works out to be about $19 a day between the two of us. It actually like, sounds unreal. Yeah, it's but, like us having two coffees in a day. But that is taking into account that a lot of the places we stayed did come with breakfast as yeah. well. And with breakfast being like a pretty big meal, um, then you only pretty much have like dinner and then you have some snacks in between as well yeah. And a lot of our activities which we will cover next um, also came with lunch as well Yeah, so you pretty much just ended up having dinner. Yeah, so we're in the middle of Port Baton Beach This sign here. There's a guy here that sells burgers for 35 pesos underneath Just come to the middle of the beach look for this sign 35 pesos we bought four today. Yesterday we bought four as well. They're delicious. I think a red horse beer will set you back maybe 50 or 60 pesos, which is $1.50. And that's in a bar. So pastries are very, very cheap in the Philippines. I remember the first couple of days we were there in Barian. There was this bakery that we would go to every day. And you could buy like a giant pastry for five pesos. Yeah. Which is like 10 10 to 20 cents. Yeah, so we lived on pastries in Port Valley. <laughs> They're actually delicious as well. This brings you to our favorite category, which is the activities. So the food is great, the people are great in the Philippines, but the reason you go there is because all of the cool activities that you can do. So we did not hold back. Um, our total cost was $517, which is comes down to just over $34 a day for two of us as well. So you have to take that into account. It was $17 per day. On average so some days we wouldn't do any activities because we were traveling but averaged out at about $34 per day so this is because in the Philippines pretty much everywhere you go especially in Palawan there's boat tours these boat tours range from 1200 to 1400 pesos per trip that is a whole day trip and includes your lunch as well and mm. it's all the fees and things included with it so just double check that when you're booking your tour that it does include your fees yeah so I think El Nido and Caron the day trips were $1400 and Port Barton, the day trips were about 1200 mm -hmm. Also, activities included diving through World War II ships. So the diving cost 3,900 pesos each. Definitely one of our more expensive um, adventures while we were there, but absolutely worth it. That included three dives, one reef dive, two wreck dives, and it came with lunch for the day as well. But the other things that you can do over in the Cebu area, the canyoneering in Barian, which was one of the highlights of the trip, was only 1,400 pesos each for the day. In Oslo, we swam with the whale sharks and did the day trip over to Sumalon Island, which was 2,500 pesos each. If you just wanted to swim with the whale sharks, I think it was about 1500 pesos each and then the Sumilon Island was a thousand on top of that if you wanted to do it on its own The menu hood sandbar <laughs> I'm gonna laugh at you. Did you say that wrong again? Nah, I said it right. That's like the menu hood Man Menu hood sandbar. No, man who you'd. We like to call it the Maldives of the Philippines That was a whole day trip for both of us. So the private boat for just the two of us was 2,000 pesos So a thousand pesos each you get to go dolphin watching for over an hour and then you just relax on the most beautiful sandbar that you've ever seen. So there are a couple of other trips that we did as well and behold we did the high rope cycling <laughs> and that was around 600 pesos each and we also did the Tower Peak climb with Brian yeah. and that cost 600 pesos as well. It just goes to show that yes we spent more money on our activities than any other area in the Philippines but the value of the activities like what you get for what you pay is just uncomparable to any other country in the world. Yeah. And we, it just depends what you want to do in your budget as well. If you want to stay in fancy resorts and things, you're going to spend a lot more money on Definitely. your accommodation. Definitely. Um, but there's places, you know, you can go out on jet skis, you can go kayaking. It's a lot of the time included in those resorts. 
we just preferred to stay in cheaper accommodation and then go out and do those bigger trips. The other categories were shopping. Shopping! We barely did any shopping in the Philippines because we were too busy on a boat trip or something, but I think we spent about 600 pesos over the whole time we were in the Philippines, which just goes to show that we, we weren't there for the shopping, <laughs> but you could easily blow a lot of money on shopping. Yeah, there's so much cool stuff to buy. I think the only things we really bought is we bought my mum a shirt because she really wanted a new Bohol shirt with the Tarsia monkey on it. Um, and Max's dad wanted a new sarong. Yeah. Amenities. Amenities. Which is like uh, doing your washing, deodorant, toiletries, um, sunblock, oh. aloe for getting sunburn after the sun. The second to last category is our phone plans, which were only 500 pesos each for a month of data. We yeah. weren't gonna run out of data anytime soon. And we got that at the airport in... Manila. Yeah, in Manila, I yeah, think so. so we just got there. And in the Philippines, we had an other expense. Um, the last category is other. Yeah, we didn't really know what to call this one, but this was pretty much just the accident that we had on the motorbike. Technically comes in transport costs, but we put it in other. But that was just one of the extra costs that we had that hopefully you don't have when yeah. you're in the Philippines. Yeah. But just make sure you do have a little bit extra in the kitty just in case there is something that does happen. Yeah. So we hope this gives you an idea of how much it will cost you to travel the Philippines when you go or if you are planning your trip. We also have very big plans coming which we're not going to let you know about yet but oh. just you wait. If you haven't already make sure that you smack that subscribe button in the face. I almost forgot to say <laughs> because it's been that long since we've made a vlog but other than that Stay safe, God bless, and we will catch you in the next one. Bye. So just wanted to send all our thoughts um, to everyone who is struggling more through the coronavirus. We're really, really lucky to be here in Australia and WA where things are pretty good. Yeah. Um, our thoughts and prayers are with all of you.